Hey, hey everybody, it's Shelby and we are in the VIP for our tutorial this week. So we are going to create a couple of swags using some not very ordinary bases. And these are going to go on my fireplace. Obviously, everything I make is for sale, but I am making these to coordinate with my living room. My living room is kind of beachy. I'm very minimalistic, as crazy as that is when it comes to decorating. So it is pretty beachy um, and neutral. So that's kind of what I'm going with for that, for something for spring just to hang on my fireplace. These are some swags that I got from Ellis Home and Garden last year on clearance. So I think I paid $2 each for them. How great is that? $2 each and they look terrible. Aren't they so ugly? Like look at that. Like who did that? These are originally $19.99. I would not pay $20 for this ever. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and start clipping some of this off. Now, some of it, see, it's just pulling right out. We don't even have to clip it. So, let's just pull all of this fake stuff off of here. Now, these sunflowers, you can save those. They're actually not bad. Um, save those for a sunflower project, and that's I'm going to do that for sure. So, let's just pull all this junk so we can get down to the good stuff. Should have brought my trash can. Hang on guys, let me get a trash bag. Sorry about that. A little unprepared. Let me get a trash bag because I don't want to just throw this on the ground. Make I'm working at my kitchen table today because no one's home. I like the lighting in here and I like the space. So I like to work by windows when I can. But I don't have a window in my craft room. And I don't like that. Sometimes it gets a little boring. So let's rip all this off. So I obviously bought these just for the bases. When they were $2, I was like, you can't make $2 for a side base. And this isn't so great when you're making a neutral project because it's just twigs. Like, how pretty is that? Now, they do make a mess. That's okay. I'm going to clip these tags off. Now, we have used these once before, and that's when I made a pampas grass swag when I connected both of them, and that was really, really pretty. So we're going to leave these individual, and we're going to do them both at the same time. It's going to be fairly simple. And it's going to make a statement. It's going to be very gorgeous. Like I said, it's going to be simple. Probably need to go get some zip ties. But let's go ahead and get started. Now, I am probably going to start off with a bow because the bow is going to be the focal point. This one's kind of just falling apart. My goodness. The bow, the bow is going to be the focal point, so I want to get it put on here so we can work around it. Now, I can't decide though. I think this accents nicely, and so I probably am going to use it. So what I have is we did use this before and it's gorgeous. I got it from Wild Creek and Co. And I absolutely love it. It's Vintage Impressions brand. And it was like 15, no, $11.99. So inexpensive and it's beautiful. And then this is just a simple blue satin. I really don't have a lot of blues. And so it's not my first choice in ribbon of what I want to use for this project. But I'm going to use what I got. Oh my God, I didn't bring anything with me. Hang on, I got to get some pipe cleaners. Sorry y'all. I have my craft room organized. I don't have my kitchen table organized. All right, let's go ahead and make our bow. So let's pull it out. And let's see. 
with how I want to approach this. What a pretty good sized bow. Pretty much just like that. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. So I just did that and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna layer it on the top. And we're just making a simple two ribbon bow. Very, very simple. This is not a ribbon project. So we're not going crazy with it. Go ahead and tie this off. And I'm going to come down, not quite in the middle, I'm going to come in between the top and the middle. So about a quarter of the way down. I'm going to see if I can just stick this through and wrap it around this spine. A really easy approach and I do want it diagonal like this. Now I did not cut it because I do want to bring it down. I do want to bring it down. I have this 10 pounds of twisted up. So I'm just looping it down. I'll probably go just like that. So I'm just going to take another pipe cleaner, wrap it around. A prime example that you don't have to always have those pine bases. You can really use a lot of things. Now say it's not a ribbon project, but that's a lot of ribbon in it. <laughs> okay, do I want to angle? I'm going to angle this down. I'm just going to cut down at an angle. With it being a weird pattern in the middle, it's hard to dovetail it. So hopefully this blue, hopefully this blue will go with what I have going. Fingers crossed. I'm going to pull this tail up this way. Then we'll angle this one the opposite direction that we angled the one on the bottom. Just like that. All right, now let's make a bow for the other side. Or for the other piece. And we're going to face it the other direction. So it is going to face this way, which means I need the little tail coming out this direction. No, why can't I do this? Can't think straight, can't think straight. Dun 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 dun. All right, let's do this. Let's make a tail and a loop. There we go. All right, we're gonna make it the same size. Good. 
I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. I'm going to start on the side. Let me untwist this ribbon first. So I'm fighting it. Let's start on the side with the short tail. So I can run it down. I don't want these loops too big. I want them real floppy. get this one placed and let me line these up I really want to make sure they're even what I'm really lining up is those top loops because they're going to be hanging the same so that way my bows will line up go right in here to this spine so this is kind of like a garland you know where um, going back and forth you do you do two sides the same so we're basically doing that. Do y'all hear my dog in the pantry? Smokey. No, sir. No, sir. Get out of the pantry. You're only five pounds. You're not that chunky. Goodness. Always trying to get a snack. Extra little snack. Loop this one down. Bring it down and attach it to the center. Man, this one is really shutting. Gosh, making a mess. to match. We're done with our ribbon. So let's put it to the side. I angled this in the wrong direction, didn't I? Way to go, Shell. It's okay. I want these short anyway. I don't really want them hanging out. All right. So here we are so far. Gosh, that's messy. Holy moly. That was the hard part. Well, let's move on to the fun stuff, shall we? love this ribbon. It's so pretty. So pretty. All right, here's the fun part. Pampas. I love Pampas. It's so beautiful. This was $14.99 at Ellis, which is actually, I was actually really surprised. That's actually a very good price. Um, because Michael's was way more expensive for not near as big. So I'm going to clip this bush off in the middle. 
like that. Clip this one off. And it was 20% off. So it's a pretty big bush. It really wasn't a bad price for it, which is super surprising because Ellis is always expensive. Always expensive. Drives me crazy. All right, how do we want to get this in here? We could spread it. Hmm, let's see. Let's get the top one put in first. I'm just running this one right behind the bow and letting it run up top, just like that. And I'm just gonna glue it down. I don't really have anywhere to stick it, but it is behind the bow. And I'm just gonna glue it to the spine of that grapevine. I'm going to bring this one in here. I just didn't want it too big. That was my issue with um, running it at the bottom. And that's pretty, though. If I could just get it to spread itself out and not have to go up that high. So I just want it right behind this tail. There we go. There we go. I like that. Okay, this one I'm zip tying because I just laid it in here. So I'm just gonna, it's just laying right on top. If you can see that, it's just laying right here. And so I'm just gonna run my zip tie around the spine. And zip tie it in. And that's where we are so far. So beautiful. Oh, I love Pampas. I love Pampas. Did I really cut that wrong? Lord, what is wrong with me today? Why am I not angle it the same direction? I mean, the opposite direction. Lord. There. Let's cut this one a little shorter. Definitely a Monday. All right. Let's add campus to our other one. Oh no. Oh no. This is a different campus bush. They had it in plastic. Y'all look, that was not the same. This is the one I wanted. What the heck? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. <sighs> revamp, revamp. I'm gonna clip this off. Maybe. Clip that zip tie. And I'm gonna use this one up top over here. Right up under that bow, just like that. So now we have matching tops. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this one, I'm going to split it, and then we can work this pampas throughout each one. Oh, that makes me so mad. I cannot believe I did that. It's okay. It's okay. Life throws us curveballs. We got to reevaluate. Ain't that right? We have to reevaluate. So I'm just cutting all of this up. 
then we're just going to have to divvy it out. So let's see what we got. There's two and two. And here there's two together. So that's single, single, two and two, two. Gosh, they're all in pairs. And two. Oh well, at least this way I get to spread it out a little bit more. Wow, that actually worked out perfect. Single, single. Okay, so now they have all even amounts. And because we're doing it like this now, I think that I am going to wait to add it so that I can work it in after we add all of our other pieces. How about that? All right. Let's bring in some greenery. Now I am going like more nature, more nature vibes. So I got this bush from Ellis also $7.99. <clears throat> It is number 62478GN. And it's super pretty because it's very, it's mossy. And it has some beads on it and, I mean, pit berries and just different um, textures on it. So I thought it was really pretty. So I'm going to split this up. And then we can start working some of these in and I can do a dry run. This is the biggest piece. So we are going to take this piece up top. I'm just going to bring it to the side. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, bring it to the side of this pampas and glue it in. And we're gluing our bow down also to it, so you know, double coverage there, double, double whammy there. So that is our biggest piece. And I just worked it to the inside right there, and then I'll take this other bigger one to the outside, right over here. We can spread this pampas out a little bit too. I love this dark green up against this light background. And I'm just going to follow my same technique on this side. I'm going to go ahead and stick a little glue on it. What piece? What piece did I use? This one? Okay. Yeah, I think it's this one. Without the tag. Get that tag off. It's actually a heavy bush. It's like, I don't know, it's very um, earthy. I don't know how else to describe it besides earthy. zip tie those two if you want to but I don't see a reason to <clears throat> all right let's start working with some of our other pieces and I'm just following the teardrop shape so 
as I work these in here, I'm just going to follow the shape of this swag. This one. And just layer these all the way down. this little heavier piece up here. We want our top to be heavier than our bottom because it is a swag. So you want to keep that teardrop shape. You want that weight to be toward the top. All right, let's do the same with this one. Just finish carrying this out. I'm going to try to use the same pieces in the same, you know, way I did the other ones. and just make a mirror image of these. Okay, get out of there, paper. Thank you. Thank you very much. I feel like that one had one more piece or I did something a little different. I don't know, it's okay. You're not gonna notice in a little bit. It's not going to matter. We're just starting to set the background. So it's really, truly not going to matter. I think that's wrong. Cut that off. Tuck that in. So this piece fell off, and so I'm just going to put these together. Use that wire. Wrap them back up together. If I can run it in here. Now that top is heavier, so I'm just going to go ahead and place this one here. It's already heavy, so we're good. Actually, I'm going to go to the outside. There we go. Oh, I love the way this looks already. Holy wedding piece. Can we say boho wedding? Shabby chic. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. What do I want to add next? I don't know. I don't know. I have these huge bushes. Oh, but it's a lot, but it's so earthy. There's so many pieces to this. This came from General Wholesale when I was there. Yeah, we're going to use some of this. I think it's going to be beautiful if I can get it torn apart. This is a huge bush. We're going to trim some of this down, but I'm tearing it apart this way because I want to see how it comes apart. I really want to see how everything's working in here. All right, we're going to leave this piece whole, I think. Let's see. Let's clip it. Let's clip it. Let's see. Don't want to take away from that pampas. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We are going to see what we can do. Just uh, do a little accent. Mm. If 
I could run these together. Excuse my head. If I could just draw some of this pampas through it, then I would be a happy camper. Let them mingle. Got some mingling going on and that is beautiful. Yes. We like the mingle, we like the mingle. All right. Which means, I'm going to use that second bush on top. Didn't really want to do that. Let me see if I can put some of these together. All right, what do we got going? We need, I need some of this. I need some leaves. Because I don't really want to tear apart my second bush over there. So I'm going to try to make another of the same topper. And I think I can. It's kind of the same look. So I'm just going to combine these pieces that I pulled off. After I trim a lot of them. Gosh. Let's see. What else do we have? Almost there. We've almost got it. Let's see. I had one of those. Do I have one of these? No. I have one of this in the front. I do feel like I need some more leaves. All right, so we're just kind of bundling these back up to do the same thing, basically. Now, I don't know if these will wrap. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so I'm wrapping this one wire I just made my own pick. Y'all like that? Y'all like that? I liked it. I just entertained myself. Oh, that probably should have went in there too. No, that's going to be too big. All right, now I can go ahead and clip all this extraness off that I have going on. Since it's not wrapped, it's going to be a little bit harder to get in there because all those wires are going to catch. But we can do it. We can do it. All right, so let's go to this side. Let's see if we can fluff this baby out a little bit before we stick it in there. All right, I'm just going to raise this bow up. And I'm going to stick this down as close to the center of that bow as possible. And then I can really spread it out and I need to glue them together. So I'm running some glue on the stems themselves since they're not wrapped up really tight. So yeah, I'm gluing them to themselves. And then I can really spread this out and spread this pampas out and work it into it. this side. Just pulling it through. That way it's not all just laying on top of each other. Let's see, that's going to be pulled through down low. And so the, the goal is to really get it fanned out inside of this pick. was simple y'all but it's gonna take forever <laughs> it really is simple it's just mainly just some um gosh it's really just some labor i know that obviously makes it hard but it really is just some it's just time it's not a hard project i think we got it that one needs to lay down i think we got it i think we did i think we did all right let's go in Everything needs to not move. Yes. That looks beautiful. That is so gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I have these little sticky pieces. Like we need some more sticks, right? We have enough sticks going on. 
some greenery in now these are coordinating pieces coordinating does not mean identical so don't get in a tussle with yourself that they're not identical yes you want them to mirror each other and be very similar but they're not identical don't make it harder than it has to be y'all okay don't make it hard on yourself freaking bush so you better believe <laughs> you better believe that I'm using all the pieces except for the sticks because you know we already have a stick base so I'm using all these where do I want to I can just run these ferns in here like that and see I only ended up using one bush for both of them so now I have another bush and that kept my cost down We just want this to be wild and beautiful. And so far, I think we're accomplishing that. Just really want to make sure everything's getting stuck. You don't want anything falling off. What is that commercial? I don't know why I just got that in my head. It used to be the uh, Venus commercial, like the Venus razors. Strong and beautiful, just like you. Be strong and beautiful. Yeah, anyway, there's my bit for the day. I've got a mess. And see what I got going. All right, I think I have, yeah, two more little pieces. Where do I want them? It's hard to look at a smashed bow. I'm just gonna run them like that, just to the outsides. Because these are mirroring each other, we do want our outsides a little more full than their insides. All right, that's it for that bush. Let's see if I can get some of this mess. Woo. All right, y'all, on to the next. On to the next. Here comes another one of my favorites. We're gonna put in this wispy spray. This came from Ellis also. It is number 63097C, as in cat, M as in Mary. If we're going for wispy and wildflower, we definitely have to add this in, right? Okay, I'm not pulling that apart. Oh gosh, yes I am. Okay, we're gonna fight this to the death. Fighting it to the death. Oh, that came apart really easy. Now they're just long. So we need to clip all these really short so I can start working them in here. Easier this way since they're just sitting on top of each other. Let's 
This is one of my favorites this year. It's really not very expensive. Um, it's a good, good bush. It's a great spring and summer bush because it has a lot of coverage with a lot of daintiness. Like it's excellent. So because see this one's angled down this way, so I'm gonna put it on this side. But I, I'm gonna cut this one out. We can use that somewhere else. That's just too long. So it's looking like an oddball. That is beautiful. Oh gosh, I'm losing my pampas. Let's see if I can find another piece that's like it. Oh, this stuff is tangly. My goodness. Okay, the piece I had would have sufficed. I should have just used it. Let's use this one. I'm sliding it up in there. Mixing it in with all those greens. getting dark in here and it's getting cloudy again outside. I love cloudy days. This is my favorite weather. Gosh, I don't know why. Maybe I have a dark soul, but I don't think I do. I'm a pretty happy person. <laughs> I think y'all can tell that by now. I'm a pretty happy person. All right, so we're really going to work in this wildness. Now I'm just going to move this around and plug it here then spread it out and just it's just really incorporating with all the other greens and it's just wild and beautiful like me <laughs> just kidding a little bit it really is gorgeous though it's really gorgeous Well, there's that angled piece I was looking for. Of course. To the inside. Spread it. I went too far in with that one. Come back. All right, we have a few pieces, and I can bend these and angle them down the way I want them to go. Oh, let's see. I'm going to come up here to the outside, but still angling down like that. Now let me see. This piece is too big. I'm going to separate it. And I can just bend it the direction I'm wanting it to angle down or angle toward. Toward. Toward such a weird word. Do y'all think so? Don't ever do that when you like you say a word, and if you say it too much, you're like, it just doesn't, it's not even a word anymore. <laughs> That's no longer a word. All right. Let's sprinkle a couple more pieces in here. Do y'all do, y'all can see how a piece like this, pieces like this can start becoming very expensive because um, there's no mesh, so you don't really have a back layer, and so you're really building it. And so the key to building something like this 
is to take your floral bushes and really break them apart. And so if you just start adding little pieces here and there and just really building it with a bunch of little pieces, it'll fill up a lot faster without using as much. That's my tip for the day. Look how wild these are. Oh, they're so beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's play with our main components now because I don't want to lose the room. So what I have are these gorgeous butterflies. Can y'all see those? Gorgeous. Okay, these came from Regency. I think I bought them on the Ribbon to Bow sale live. And I thought they were so beautiful. And I was like, I have to have those. Let's get them opened up. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. Now let's play around with our placement. To see where we want these to go and then we can play around with the placement of these awesome ornaments i got these at ellis they were sitting in a random spot they're 9.99 20 percent off like aren't those gorgeous so i thought those would be perfect in here too and we're really just going all out nature and almost nautical like this is almost like nautical also oh, these feel so cool and so we just need to decide where we want these to go I'm not sure, truly not sure. They have little clickies on the back. Obviously, we're gonna put one right at the top, obviously. And I think I will counter them since they're going, you know, since they're mirroring, I'm gonna do opposites. So what we could do uh -oh, that clippy is kind of making things a little bit hard, but that's cute. I just clipped it onto the ribbon. I don't know. Let's see. Let's pull this ribbon to the side. Let's clip it on with some of this greenery. Oh, I do think I like that. And I just clip that right onto the greenery. And I mean, you can send it to your customer that way too. I would probably put a dab of glue. I would probably put a dab of glue. That's so cute though. And so I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna clip this to this greenery and turn it the way I want. That's gorgeous. Oh, those are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's open this up. Let's get some of these. Oh gosh, I don't need it. Oh, it's taped. Yeah. There we go. Alright, what colors? What colors? I can use all three. Let's see. Let's see what we're working with. Obviously, doing a little tuck. Hmm. Bring this one to the inside, like so. And then bring this one somewhere up top. We might just have to do two since I have the butterfly there. But ideally, it would go right in there. Let's see. Take this back off.
just playing around, seeing what my eye likes. My eye likes that. So I just moved the butterfly a little further up. That way I can place these. I'm losing y'all on camera, Arna. These are getting too big. Let me see if I can turn it just a little bit. Let's see if that helps. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I'm gonna put the white one in here. Yeah, I like that color balance a lot better. All right, let's glue them down. These are really lightweight, so I'm not bogging down my design. These don't really have a lot to glue to, so I'm trying to make sure <clears throat> that I get them on there good. Really need that glue to penetrate through to the greenery and the vine. Okay, so that one's good there. All right, so I'm gonna have to move this butterfly up. Glue these down. Uh oh, my ribbon got glued. There we go. I was wondering why it's folded down so far. Just tucking it right up under there. We're going to take this one. Butterfly attached back on here. We're just going up a little bit higher. Let's see. Bring in something that I can attach to with some stability and to move some stuff around a little bit. There we go. Straighten it up. There we go. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. I'm in love with this design. I'm in love with it. So appealing. Everybody likes what they like, right? Are these glue down? This one is. That one needs a little weight. Needs to just chill up for a second. All right, so let's bring in some of this meadow grass. GTA 122 WH. It also came from Ellis. I went on a whole Ellis shopping spree. It is what it is. We did use this the other day. And so I'm pulling it apart. Just like I did then. Then we'll cut some of the stems. That should be dry. Oh, this stuff is so messy. And so again, this is just some color accent. Just breaking it all up. Just working it in there together. See if that's gonna work. Really just trying to see if I like it, and I think I do. I'm gonna go ahead and commit. 
to glue in these two down. counter that and I'm going to come and run this one to the corner top. So I'm really diagonaling this this direction. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm just intertwining them when it's all look like one piece. What to look like it was literally made this way and it was by us you almost want it you want it to look factory made like it wants you want it to be homemade but you want it to be as factory made because for whatever reason you know when stuff comes from our factory it's just like perfect you know toys different things like that so that kind of is what i go for i want it to look like it's just supposed to be like that Okay, before I add these, oh, let's see. I did bring some of those. I only have one bush, and so I don't think that's going to work. Here's some more mossy greens. I did bring some 60919, but I don't think we're going to use that. But I, I have some emptiness. That's okay. Let's hold on to these and let's get our pampas back out. Pampas, like when you put some glue on it, it burns and sh shrivels up. So that's why we're adding it last. So let's break out our little pampas stems and start sprinkling these in. Let's see, let's see what we have enough for. Oh, I hope I have enough to do this all the way down. I think I will. I think I will. Let's see. Let's go right up under this butterfly. You see how I'm just working my way down the teardrop. Then I have these two single pieces, which is perfect. And I can just run one here and one at the very bottom. I don't like this one. It's just like sticking up. It's too uniform, there we go. Oh, I like that, that's much better. That is much better. All right, let's glue. I'm just going to try to glue them right where they are. See, you glue it where it is because then you can't get it back in. one. Let me see if I can find my lost pampas. Got it. All right. And I'm going to do the same pattern. And since I know where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and throw some glue on there and just put them in the same place as the other side. We did two and two. And 
to. Not in here. Oh, don't go in there. See, this one feels like it has more greenery. This one I'm having some empty space on. I'm going to have to do something about that. Because that's not okay. Not okay. All right, let me get this. Okay, now we have these little uh, meadow grass. So let's place a few of those and just sprinkle those throughout in here now. Their dogs don't even know what they're barking at majority of the time. They're so funny. Dogs are funny, funny creatures. I'm not a cat person. I like cats. We just don't have them. My husband's allergic. He don't like cats. But dogs, dogs crack me up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I did bring some of these little flowers too. I guess we wanted to sprinkle some of those in there. Liven it up a little bit. Hmm. I think we will. I didn't even realize I was using so many of the same stems that we just used on our project the other day. Oh, there's a lot of glue. That one is not wanting to get in there. Okay, you can go right there. There we go, two. I'm going to run it right into that little area that I was talking about is empty. Don't you start barking, Smokey. That's already the time has passed. They've already done it. You missed your chance. Bless him, he'll know. It's like, I'm a big bag dog, too. When you work in threes, you just literally work down your project, diagonaling, diagonaling them. That's not a word, I don't think. But we're making it one. It is in the craft world. See, so this blue wasn't like my favorite. This ribbon's not my favorite. I, I wouldn't have used it if I didn't have to, but it works for this. It'll be fine. I cut this a little shorter. All right, guys, we are done. That took an hour, but we did two, and they're beautiful. Look at that. 
holy wedding okay can we say like boho wedding these are beautiful i cannot wait to hang them on my mantle that's where they're about to go after i go take a picture i love them and i hope you love them too and i hope you get inspired to make something from this that you don't have to use mesh i know we use a lot of mesh i love mesh you don't always have to use it so go get inspired go get creative this week and i will see you guys on friday bye everybody